When it comes to goal setting, it is clear that having a goal is better than having no goals or having too many goals because that focuses you on a specific direction and you can achieve your desires and then move on to other desires, always finding out that your desires will not seize your internal unsatisfactoriness. But that's a different topic. In this video, we are exploring the latest and most valuable evidence on goal setting and looking at a system in Notion specifically to set goals focusing on one priority goal every quarter, so every 12 week cycle, or it could be shorter or it could be longer, but it's only going to be one goal at a time so that you can focus all your energy on that goal before moving on to the next one. And in this system, you can set your goal, you can then track your habit of working towards that goal on a daily basis or on a weekly basis depending on the frequency that you need to practice that objective and the micro actions within that objective and also having a way to randomly reward yourself because random rewards are more effective than predictable rewards which may become habitual at some point and hence not release that spike in positive emotions that you might want to have whenever you move towards your goal through daily action that is consistent over time. The process for goal setting and management in this template is the following. The first step is to use pen and paper, so not this template. Pen and paper and brainstorm all the possible goals that you can pursue, that you wish to pursue and that are on your mind. After that, the second step is to prioritize those goals. If you were to order them manually still, circle the ones that are the most important ones for you and continue this filtering process until you identify the one single objective that you wish to pursue in the first 12 week cycle which could be a bit longer or a bit shorter depending on the specific goal that you are trying to achieve once you've selected that priority goal then you can stop using the pen and paper and come into the digital system to enter that goal which will then break down into micro actions and then you can track those micro actions on a daily basis in the template directly and this is what i'm going to show you in the next part of the video this is the template homepage and you can see there is a quick access to specific key databases that are part of the system starting from goals where you will enter your goals you will then break down goals into micro actions you can think of this as habits they are actionable verb oriented and things that you need to do in order to achieve the goal over time you will track micro action through the goals action tracking database and you will then if you want optionally use the random rewards database to flip a coin and via an automation that is built in Packdream and it's included in this template so you will find a link to the automation template that you can use on the free plan within Pipedream, that's an automation tool, and that will generate head or tail, and depending on the outcome, it will then reward yourself or not reward yourself. So let's look at the goals database. And after the brainstorming is done, you have identified your priority goal, and that's where you will enter it. So you will see here, there is current goal. That's the goal with the status of current pursuit. That's the one that you are currently pursuing. You can also see all goals over time. So at the end of the year, you might have pursued multiple goals in different cycles. By default, a goal cycle is 12 weeks. That's one quarter, three months, but you can of course extend it or reduce it according to the scope of your goal specifically and how long it will last. You can then see a board of goals by status as well as a timeline just like that, which you can also change into different resolutions to look at the data more dynamically over time. And if I am to create a new goal, I can hit the new button right here. This is going to be the goal name. And you want to be as specific as possible to identify exactly what the goal will be and what are the actions linked with that goal specifically. For example, let's assume my goal is to increase website traffic by 20% from organic search through new SEO strategy and consistent blog updates. This can be a goal, for example, for a person who has a website and wants to grow that site and create a product ecosystem around it. So I decided that this is my priority goal, for example. So I will come here, set the status to current pursuit and decide what are the days of the week during which I will pursue this goal through the micro actions that I'm going to define later. And you can see here, whenever you see the information tooltip, that means that this property has a description, which is a relatively new feature released by Notion in the month of December that allows you to add a description to any property in a database as well as views in a database and this is useful because when you hover over the property name you will find a description of what exactly i mean with that property so days of pursuit let's say i'm going to work on this pretty much every day of the week as well as saturday because i believe one of the habits will be to make sure that i write content that is seo optimized and produces value for readers and that is why that is a daily habit that i want to ensure i implement in my routine so I know that this is six days per week. The start date is automatically generated and it is today. 
But if I want, I can change it, for example, to Monday, the 8th of January. The duration in weeks is 12. Or maybe let's give it a bit more time because that's a more of a long term strategy and objective that I want to pursue regarding the blog and website content. So let's say this would be 50 weeks. Let's say that's about one year. So the end date is December 23rd. And how many hours per day will I allocate working towards this goal? And let's say that would be 1.5 hours per day. These are 300 total days. And then here there are more qualitative properties where you can insert what's the major blockage for this goal. What is the one thing or the few things that might stand in the way of me achieving this goal and putting in the practice towards the micro actions on a daily basis that will help me achieve the goal. This can be anything. It can be just psychological blockages. It can be practical blockages in your schedule or your environment around you or the people around you and identifying those things and thinking through how you may tackle them or ensuring that they do not really affect you that much towards the pursuit of your goal can be a key practice that helps you think in advance about obstacles and that helps you put the obstacles into perspective and think into the future as to how you will resolve them practically speaking and an additional qualitative insight that you can enter is the tracking notes so how are you going to determine the success towards this objective what are you tracking in this case this could be tracking the increase in organic search through a dedicated website analytics tool such as google analytics making sure that it is set up properly so that you can regularly track the progress towards this goal which is very specific and is by 20% within one year. So that's what you're tracking exactly. And finally, there is tracking progress. That's a formula, so it's automatic based on the micro actions that you will track on a daily basis or weekly basis towards the goal. On the goal page, there is a template. It is automatically applied. And in here you can find notes and links. This could be qualitative resources such as articles or any documents that you have related to this goal. Here you can enter micro actions. These are the action oriented practices that you will perform regularly, possibly daily or weekly, depending on the goal type and that you will track on the goal action tracking database where every day or every week or every specific day of the week where you want to track micro actions and progress towards the goal. You can enter data and see the action done checkbox. Set it to done if you've done it or not done if you have not done it. And also enter any notes that you might have. For example, let's enter three micro actions for this goal specifically. So these are the three actions that I want to have. I just wrote them down as text. So I'm going to just drag and drop them inside the database right there. We're going to update and optimize the website SEO every week. And you can specify exactly what that means. We will produce and publish blog content at least twice a week and monitor and analyze websites traffic. So these are three micro actions that will help me move towards the achievement of the goal. Each micro action is a page so you can open that page and add any notes that you might have as well as use the template that is applied automatically when you create a new page. In this case it was not applied because I created the pages by dragging and dropping them into the database which is a rather unusual thing to do although sometimes it might happen. And inside each micro action you will see a log of all the action trackings that you will do over time because whenever you enter an action tracking item which you can do inside the goal page as well as directly from the dashboard that we saw at the very beginning of the video we will then be able to insert the date let's say today, the specific micro action that you worked on, let's say optimize SEO and whether you did that action or you did not do that action. And if that is done, that will move the progress towards the goal, which in this case is still zero because the progress is determined as total action trackings, successful action trackings over total days. So in this case, it's one over 300. It's a very small number, so it's still zero. But if you were to add an additional tracking, for example, and we check it off, that will then move the progress forwards to divided by 300 and that would be around 1%. And when we go back to the main dashboard, that's where everything is in one place, accessible from one single Notion page. And on the left-hand side, you can find the current goal. So the goal with the status of current pursuit, which you can open at any time, just like that in full page. You can also find down here action tracking, which you can also understand why this is included the system by opening this toggle and you can create a new tracking directly from this button right here and the process is exactly the same as the one that we saw earlier so you can link the goal to it let's say website traffic if there is any specific micro action that you did that's what you're going to select there and you can check it off as done and also include any notes if you like and that tracking is then stored in the database and it moves the progress for the goal forward over time
And finally, there are two additional features in the system that are a bit more fun oriented. One is the random rewards, which you're going to see in a second that involves an automation in Pipedream or a workflow to be specific. And one is the daily goal highlight. And the daily goal highlight is a way for you to write down exactly what's your current pursuit. And that's because although you can see the current pursuit every day of your week in the dashboard, here, after a few days and a few weeks and a few months, this can become a passive way to look at the goal, like a post-it note on the refrigerator, and that can become just part of the environment. And so you may become numb to it, not responding to it, and just looking at it, but without attributing the same meaning and internal motivation that you might have had in the very beginning of your goal setting process when determining your priority goal. And that is why, according to research, it is best to every day write down the pursuit, the priority goal anew, possibly by hand, but also in a digital system, it could work so that you need to remind yourself exactly what are you walking towards and that will have meaning. So every day this view will be cancelled out empty and you can click this button to quickly write down your goal and that will stay here for the entirety of your day until midnight comes and this gets cleaned out of this database view and the next day you can add again your daily goal focus. And finally sometimes you might want to reward yourself, sometimes you might not and you want to not have a consistent rewarding schedule because that's an optimal way to achieve positive emotions towards the pursuit of your goal and that is why we have this flip coin for reward button that is connected to the random rewards database and this random rewards database generates rewards and if you go to Pipedream now you will see there is this workflow which is included in the template when you duplicate it you can find the link in the description of the video and in here you can see there are a few steps there is a trigger that is whenever there is a new page in the database random rewards in Notion then there is a node.js code step that flips a coin essentially randomly 50% chance of hand or tail and finally we update the notion page of the reward either with hand or with tail and depending on the outcome so hand or tail in notion you will see under random rewards the outcome text if it is hand it's going to be reward yourself if it is tail it's going to be no reward for today continue with your actions normally and you can choose your rewards of course from whatever activity you like to pursue to reward yourself or it could just be a thought of believing in yourself and um, a positive thought towards your pursuit of the goal that you are actually making progress towards the goal so if you decide to use this workflow in Pipedream you will just need to duplicate it since it is included as a template and then you will need to edit it to make sure that you will actually have your own database ID from Notion and to do that you will need to connect your Notion account here following the prompts on the screen so that's going to be rather easy you will then have the timer which you can set also more frequently like every 15 seconds that's the minimum on the free plan in Pipedream you will then select the database ID and for that you will need to make sure that your goal setting page or just a random reward database has the Pipedream connection added from the connections menu down here you would find Pipedream and you will add that connection to the database. You will then select the database, do a few tests. You do not need to change anything in the code and you will also need to change the update page module to ensure that your account is connected and the random rewards database with your specific ID is connected. And now if you look at the random rewards page, there is only one reward created for now. So let's just delete this one. Let's go back to code setting and I'm gonna generate the reward and flip a coin. You can see that the workflow in Pipedream right now is running every 30 seconds. We could do it more frequently. And so we wait a bit and then tail is generated automatically and the outcome is right here. There is no reward this time. You've done all needed. Move on to the next activity. That's okay. I can link the goal for which I generated this reward. And then if I want, I can write down any notes. Notes might be more useful when you reward yourself. Maybe you can write down exactly what kind of reward did you use for this specific instance. And that is everything there is with this template. In Notion. Also, the Coda version and the Airtable version will come soon. You can find links in the description of the video to get the template together with the Pipedream Automation Companion template. For any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thanks for watching for now and see you in the next one.